one eye, so much can happen. If you have inclusion body myositis, better known as IBM, that blink of an eye might be a disaster for a millisecond or a lifetime. Thanks for joining us and watching the start of hopefully another 100 episodes of this IB Myositis channel dedicated to people with inclusion body myositis. Please subscribe if you are not already a subscriber and make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate this channel. A simple fall can and has caused tragedy for many IBMers. So be aware of this danger at work or play and remember safety is paramount at the end of each moment. For any possible dangerous situation, us IBMers need to be a little more aware and try not to do what others our age can do. Perhaps, if we are prone to falling occasionally and have difficulties getting up from a fall, our decision to use a mobility power chair should increase exponentially. Imagine falling and not being able to get up when a tornado or fire hits your home, or if you are standing in a large crowd when something occurs that triggers a mass exit or crowd stampede from a venue you are in. Even if you are in a power chair, you need to know your surroundings and identify where all the emergency exits are located. Sometimes all you have to do is access the Google Earth application to see what type of alternate exits are available at your favorite places you often visit. In my case, Cindy and I still visit a sports bar every week to watch our favorite NFL team during the football season. And I know that the front of the building is easily accessible for me in my power chair. A few years ago, I pulled up the Google Earth application and checked out whether or not the alternate exits were power chair accessible too. As this Google Earth photo shows, the rear exits for this building are at ground level, so no problem of me getting out on my power chair should be experienced. Or maybe you are at a restaurant and you feel that something is being lodged in your dysphagic throat area. What would you do? The first basic rule is not to trot to the bathroom to avoid making a scene. Being alone in a bathroom is probably the last place you want to be when choking, especially if you might require some assistance from another person at any point in your choking episode. Now, I'm not claiming that any of the information that I included in this episode is new in any way. Each and every one of my IBM friends and their caregivers should already know these precautions. But just knowing them might have to be refreshed if the circumstances change when an IBMer is more frequently falling or is already in a mobility device such as a scooter or power chair. Things change, and what was once simple knowledge before IBM has to be re-evaluated when growing into a more advanced stage of this skeletal muscle disease. So, just how long is a blink of an eye? It could be defined in milliseconds, or just have a definition of how long it takes to start falling when you have IBM, even when you're paying 100% attention to what you're doing. So whether at home or away, all IBMers must pay particular attention to the small details that will keep you whole when unexpected events attempt to interrupt your life. Stay alive, my dear IBM friends. <laughs>